version they play. Um. <clears throat> like a different mix. We need to get Color Me Bad at the gathering. Because a friend of mine on the chat room is also a Color Me Bad fan. And we don't run, a, we don't run across a lot of Color Me Bad fans. No, we don't. So, <laughs> I just wanted to state that there is another Color Me Bad fan, Freaky P, up on the Twitter and the chat. So, Freaky P will be there to see Color Me Bad? Yes, and me, I told him, me, you, you and, and Freaky him. P will be there. That's about it. What about I'll, me? I'll, I'll people. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I would okay, totally cool check out Color Me Bad. Our crew, our Look, crew who appreciate people the don't even music. Fucking, people don't even realize nothing. We, 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 had, we had Bobby Brown at the gathering. He was the shit. We had fucking Bobby Brown with a full band. He was so good. Doing my prerogative at the gathering. And he was over. And he schooled he it, man. He got over. I mean, we actually had a fucking pop star. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 you know, a top 40 pop. He, he ruled the fucking world for a, a couple summers. And MC yeah. Hammer was there. And we had MC Hammer. Wow. And they and were fucking ice. over. Like people yeah. loved them. Man, the young, I mean, young wish, people I don't wish realize. I feel like, that way about Color Me Bad. I really Young do. people don't realize really about do. about Bobby Brown would. at the gathering. You it's think? so fucking I, crazy to me. I think Color Me Bad could do the gathering. There I think are they just, just played in Michigan. If you've never heard Rosanna's little sister, Google it and listen to it with the lights down and simmer. Okay. Because it is the best song ever. I'm going to do that tonight. Rosanna's Little Sister. Listen to the words. Listen to the beat. Listen Rosanna's to the bass. Rosanna's Little Sister. Watch me as I kiss the oh. older sister's lips. With a passion that always missed her. It was dark outside my window, but I could see her from the light. She, she was standing perfectly naked, turning up the heat of the night. In the heat of the night. No matter how I try, she's there. I just can't get her out of my mind. I can't hide. I can't resist your, your little, little sister. sister. Oh, yeah, Ow. yeah. Damn. Every you day and every night, I feel right another kiss of the night. Is this what happens every night, you guys? I was going to say. I know it ain't right. Yes, yeah, so every night we sing this. Right before bed. That's dope. It is such a dope they song. They would fucking work at the gathering. I, I feel like... People would give them a chance. Oh, I wish. <laughs> I doubt they'd even sing. They wouldn't even fucking sing. Uh, it was just, little sister. Yeah, they, yeah, that's not that's a popular song. That's a rarity That's not a popular song. Late night, 4 a.m. Love making session. Dream on. Dream on. See, people don't know this, but me I and Michelle, me and Sugar Slam, day. tell them the story. People don't know day. this. This is a great story. Oh, <laughs> We had we had <laughs> Brian Abrams, the lead singer of Color Me Bad, sing at our wedding. Yes, she sang. We did. He sang Michelle down the aisle. Yes. it was fresh. It was fresh. dream on, dream away. I think I'm gonna have to stay. Acapella. It he didn't even use the microphone because the acoustics. It was crazy. The acoustics in the Masonic Temple right. Chapel were so. Uh, this couple. This, I have a story about this. There, this couple in front of us. The girl started screaming <laughs> when she when he started saying. She was like, "Oh my god!" And the guy was like, "Shut the fuck up!" Really? It was awesome. Yeah. 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 Jackie and I were like. We had like yeah, goosebumps. I, like, yeah. I looked play down. Play that video. Uh, Dream On by uh, oh my Color God. Me Bad. It was the most incredible moment of my life. Yeah. Just when he came, he came to our rehearsal. We flew. He came to our rehearsal dinner. Yeah, we flew dead. him and his wife first class to Detroit. I'm not going to tell you what we paid him because it's private. It's his business. But it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a, a guap. It you wasn't know what a mean? lot. Well, but he, he was happy love. to do it. He did, did it. it he love. did it for fun. He did it for us, you know, because he's a friend. He's he's appeared on a couple of our records. He he's on Truth or Dare. Yes. He's, on, he's also on um um uh, Ghetto Rainbows. Mm -hmm. 
the band, the whole band is on Ghetto Rainbows. Brian Abrams is on Truth or Dare, which is a fucking awesome Ghetto song. Rainbows, the remix. What an amazing oh, yeah. thing to work with their vocals, too, in the studio. Like, you have their stacks, and you look at this session of, of like, 100 fucking vocal takes, and it's, like, all immaculate, and, like... It's just like working with the Beach Boy, modern day Beach Boy. And you know, both times that we did a song with Color Me Bad, we didn't. They just took it and fucked with it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like we just yeah. sent him the lyrics in yeah. the open chorus, and he took it in the studio and fucking schooled it. Yeah. Like we should play, we should play Truth or Dare. That's what we should play. That's dope. Play yeah. as our outro song. Let's play that as our outro song. If we could yeah, yeah. But I just. His voice is just just music to my ears, and mm. it always has been. And the minute, all right, Joe and I were sitting, okay, I, this is how Joe. I knew I loved this man. I'm just going to get really real with everybody. Oh, damn. I knew I loved him when he just, out of the blue, put in Color Me Bad, Time and Chance. And I, I looked at him, I was like, <laughs> Color Me Bad? Oh, hell no. This is my partner for life. It was just an incredible moment. I'll never forget it. And it's all love. It's just a love story. Just Color Me Bad is just love. That's why, that, that's love why we voice. had to get him to sing. Love that's why voice. we had to get him to sing at our wedding. Because he's, yes. he's a shit. We're both big yeah. fans. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. It was pretty obvious. Yeah, I ate dinner next to him. He was like the coolest oh, yeah. guy ever. Yeah. Sat and bullshitted. And so down to earth and yeah. so nice. And oh, and you man. know what the other thing is? He actually wanted to paint his face, Did sign he? with Psychopathic, and sing the wicked shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's baller. He was dead serious. He's like, I'm dead serious. I'm ready to do it, you know? Wow. Like TMZ posted a picture of him that was all fucked up, you know? <laughs> And he and he texted me and he was like, "Bro, I'm so ready to fucking sing the wicked shit," you know. I was like, "Man, you'd have to like, you know, sing about crazy shit, you know. It wouldn't work, you know. You couldn't bring the love songs to psychopathic, you know." And he's like, "I'd sing nothing but the wicked shit, man." And he and he and he showed what he would do on Truth or Dare. That's why we should play Truth or Dare mm-hmm. because he wrote that hook and he sang it. And I think if we had an artist. I still think it. I was outvoted, of course, but I think if we had an artist that was singing wicked shit mm. on like all the artists on Psychopathic, like he was singing on our hooks and shit. Well, it'd be like Nate Dog. It'd be know? like Nate Dog, yeah, exactly yeah. on Death Row, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And then one the day, one day, like like four or five years from now. His album would come out, mm-hmm. and it would have all of us all over it. Right. Rapping. Super fresh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it would be like... It would be so different for people, but his voice, they don't give it a chance because think they think be it's new. a corny boy band or whatever, yeah. but that is truly a voice that can hit every octave you can imagine. You got truth His vocal there. range yeah, is yeah. incredible. 